would like to say, though, I think I'm, this is as good a time as any for me to say it, is a you, you'll notice that we were in the we were in the Normandy. We were out and back in England. We went into Holland. Eventually, we're out and back to France. More Milan Le Grand. Now we're into uh, Bastogne. The point being that we were in and out. And I always like to tell people that that we really feel <clears throat> that we had it easier. And I, I think I would not have traded places with any of the guys that were in the line divisions, like the one and the four, you know, that slogged their way across Europe or across the South Pacific on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I wouldn't trade places with any of them. So I don't want anybody to ever get the idea that because we've gotten this sort of publicity or whatever you want to call it out of this Band of Brothers thing, that we think that we're a cut above anybody else. In fact, I don't think we did as much as a lot of other guys did in this war. Well, what we are really are representatives of a, is a, or a microcosm of young guys uh, in their 20s that were <clears throat> brought together from all walks of life and not professional soldiers put together and made into a good fighting unit. That was the thrust of Band of Brothers. It was not, there's a certain mystique about jumping out of airplanes or anything, but it's not, that was not the thrust of Band of Brothers. It's a character study, but it's also a, a study of what can be done by a nation of people who have a certain amount of freedom, independence, and ingenuity.